Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the laptop screen on your ASUS G51JX, also known as the ASUS Republic of Gamers. First off, I purchased my replacement screen from LaptopScreen.com. I uh, simply put in the model of my computer and the site brought out the exact screen I needed. Price was excellent, uh, much cheaper than I expected, um, and shipping was very quick. I received my screen in only two days, so a big thank you to LaptopScreen.com. Uh, now without further ado, let's show you how to replace the screen. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is remove the six screws from the outer bezel, four around the edges, and then two under the rubber tabs at the top near the middle. Um, the outside is going to have little rubber pieces that you can just peel off with your fingernails. The middle pieces might be a little bit harder, but they will also peel off too since they're just kind of glued down. Um, and they'll restick once you're finished with the, uh, with the project. Um, once we get all four of those screws taken out the sides, like I said, we'll go and remove the middle ones. And once we do that, we're going to remove the bezel. Uh, you can gently slide your fingers underneath the inside of the bezel and then just slowly pop it off. You'll hear it popping. Um, you shouldn't be breaking anything as long as you're careful. So just make sure that you're uh, careful with that. Next, we're going to have eight screws. Those are going to hold the screen to the uh, rear plastic piece of the laptop. We're going to remove the two top screws on both sides and then the bottom four screws we're just going to loosen. We don't need to remove them completely because we just need to access the side screws that are actually holding the um, screen to the actual laptop. To remove the screen assembly from the laptop, we'll need to remove the four screws from each side of the assembly. Uh, first, we'll start off with the top three screws on both sides, uh, leaving the bottom screws in. This is just to keep the screen from falling, um, which could uh, tear the ribbon cable behind it which attaches the screen to the computer. So what we'll do is we'll grab the top of the screen, we will remove the bottom screw from both sides, and uh, just make sure that the screen doesn't move too much or fall, because uh, like I said, this can tear the cable if you're not careful. So uh, as we remove the other screw on the left side, we will uh, just hold on to the screen and carefully move it forward. As you do this, the ribbon cable is going to be sticking to the screen, so be careful with that. You don't want to uh, just pull the screen out because you might uh, end up tearing that ribbon cable. But just uh, detach it from the rear of the screen. There will be a piece of tape on the connector that you can just lift up and just wiggle the connector out, and then you've removed the old screen. So we'll take our new screen, which we got from LaptopScreen.com, and uh, we will place it down on the keyboard, and we will connect it back to the laptop. Uh, just taking the connector piece and just sliding it back into the screen. You'll hear a nice little click, and then just press the piece of tape down to hold the connection. Then we'll take the ribbon cable, uh, press it against the rear of the screen, and just put the computer back together the way we found it. We'll start off with the side screws, uh, four on each side. Then we will tighten the bottom two screws of the screen assembly to the rear plastic. Uh, insert the other two screws on both sides at the top of that. And then we will take the front bezel and just snap that back into place. So we'll lay it down on top of the laptop. And uh, just uh, using your fingers, apply even pressure all the way around um, the whole circumference of the screen. Uh, just making sure that it's clicked in completely. And then we will take the screws, which uh, hold the bezel to the screen, and we will put those back in, uh, do the four corners, and then also don't forget the two under the rubber pieces uh, near the top middle of the screen. And then we'll just install the rubber pieces at the four corners of the bezel again, and then turn on the laptop to make sure everything works. Uh, as you can tell, this isn't a very hard process to do. Anyone can do this. All you need is the uh, screen. Uh, I recommend LaptopScreen.com. Uh, this should have any screen uh, model that you need. So uh, just feel free to check them out. Link's at the bottom of the page. If you have any questions about this, uh, just let me know and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.